Hello guys, this is Mallet Hey Ranch Productions here, and 2021 is nearly over. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It kind of feels like fucking yesterday that it was only 2020, and now it's fucking the end of 2021. It's been pretty, pretty fucking crazy how uh, quickly this year has gone by. Uh, yeah, uh, there's been a lot of good stuff that's happened in this year, but there's also been a lot of really bad stuff that has happened in this year, and for today, or for this video, I'm going to be taking, I'm going to be re, well, reviewing how my channel's done this year, and like, what, what stuff has happened that's been good, what stuff has happened that's been bad, and just, a, a, like, a lot of stuff, really, so, um, yeah, 2021, like, I'll just, s just summarize how I feel like this year's been for my channel, and then we'll try to explain the reasons and other stuff, but, um, yeah, uh, this year has been very, it's, it's been a really huge roller, cro roller coaster when it comes to how the channel's been, uh, yeah, there's been some high points, some pretty cool stuff, but there's also been a lot of low points, and we'll, we'll get to the obvious low points later, but, uh, Let's talk about the stuff that's been pretty positive about this year, uh, and some noteworthy stuff that's happened in this year. Uh, the first thing that, uh, happened that was, uh, very cool, all well, this is kind of just cool to me, pretty much just in general, but, uh, the collection, like, my overall physical media collection, just in general, with, like, DVDs, games, Blu-rays, that stuff, it is pretty hugely skyrocketed in how much stuff I have, and I also finally also decided to fucking actually not just expand my horizons, but now the collection's far more varied than it was back then. Uh, back in the day, it was usually, it was just a, like, usually a bunch of just fucking Nickelodeon stuff and some later like, PS2 games, and that's, a uh, really about it, but we've, but we've expanded the collection much more. We have a lot more just shows and movies from, like, different companies or genres or like, animation or, like, just pretty much any type, uh, I've gotten much more anime since then, because, well, in the, this year, uh, after I completed the uh, fucking Death Note, I became an anime fan again, okay, I'm sorry, that's what I meant to say, but, um, yeah, I've definitely gotten more stuff of that, uh, I think, I, I actually got a Wii again this year, which, that is, a uh, very nice, and, um, yeah, we also hit the milestone of 400 subscribers in this year, so... Yeah, that's, uh, pretty cool, and I, I think we also hit, like, 300, I'm still waiting to fucking hit 500, but we'll get to that later, but, um, yeah, again, some, some pretty good stuff, if you, if you ask me, at least, but, um, yeah, now, I did make a video of talking about 2021, and just overall how I felt about the year at that time of that video, but, um, yeah, now it's time to talk about some very low, low points in this year. Uh, let's just start with the obvious one, and I'm not gonna go hugely in the detail, although I'll probably say something that, or I'm gonna say something that you guys will be surprised by, but, um, this year is when I started getting into fucking making drama content, and I had no idea that my channel was gonna take that turn, but what do you know, it fucking did. Now, by drama content, I don't mean, like, commentary videos responding to people's, uh, other people's videos just in general, because, like, that the the older commentaries from my channel and like from like twenty eighteen to twenty twenty that that stuff that with that content I was having no intentions of causing any drama or any stuff like that. It was mainly just looking at people's videos and like giving or just critiquing them and giving them constructive criticism and you know stuff like that. Then in February, I'm not going to name any names just to be safe here. In February of 2021, I made my first drama video where talking about a certain someone who's become pretty synonymous with this channel. But yeah, like after that video, it's, it's like it set off a fucking huge chain of events that would happen in the future. And yeah, I just got more, <laughs> just fucking got more and more drama. I can fucking stop making videos. Uh, responding to drama that either I've ca I caused on my own or other people caused to me or just me butting into dramas that really I have really had nothing to do with or really shouldn't have been fucking doing but um yeah you want to hear the surprising thing like you want to hear it 
I actually do not blame anyone else for, like, the, the change in my channel with drama. I don't blame anyone else but myself. And I know some people out there are going to be saying some stuff like, Yeah, but, 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 but Malachi, there were some outside influences, or who knows, maybe maybe you agree with me. But, yeah, like that, I'm, I'm not having any of that. It was my decision to make that make the fucking drama videos. Yes, I could felt like I couldn't stop it, but it was my decision to fucking make the videos and give my takes on freaking dramas and causing just my whole channel to be fucking surrounded by it. And again, it, it like I didn't even stop when I had the opportunity or chances to. I just fucking kept on going down the fucking rabbit hole and yeah, basically to put it in, in a nice little summary. I made my bed, so I had the lie in it. Although, I, I, I feel like our channel's been a little bit better since I just freaking stopped making all the drama content. And, yeah, I think it's been all right. Now, granted, I did take... Okay, now, this is another thing that's kind of sucked for me personally. I, again, this is just for me. Um, the growth of my channel in this year was pretty much nothing compared to my growth for my channel in 2020. Like... When it comes to just how my channel's done, like, e even 2020 was better than 2021. And, I mean, more than just, like, content... And I mean more than just, like, view-wise, because that was, like... <laughs> that Like, my views were surprisingly pretty fucking... Like, I was getting loads of views in 2020. Uh, mainly off of the Family Guy sibling rivalry clip that I did, but... Again, it, it was... 2020 was a good year for my channel and crap. That's when I passed... Not only 100 subscribers, but 200 subscribers as well. And and this in this year, yeah, my my channel, especially in like kind of like March to, well, pretty much ever since March of 2021, my my views just like fucking plummeted down really fucking hugely. Like a drill goes into the ground, and yeah. And when I decided to stop making the drama content and stuff like that. My channel took even more of a even a bit even a, an even bigger hit than it originally did because well I mean I think this also exposed what people actually fucking watched me for and yeah when now while I, again my channel did take a huge fucking hit in views after I decided to shift away from the drama content after like fucking loads of months of doing it. Again, like, uh, again, it, it not only is it just good that I finally knew when the fucking stop making this content, but, again, I, I just, uh, again, I, I really wish that I would, would, would have stopped fucking blaming other people for my f channel get, being fucking shrouded in drama, because, again, it, it was me, though, it, it was me who was the one who was fucking doing it, it, it was not, like, no one else was encouraging, okay, well, maybe... In, like, very rare instances, it, some people did encourage me to fucking do these videos, but for the most part, it was just me deciding, hey, hey, time to, time to butt my head in some fucking drama, and, yeah, again, just that stuff happened, but, uh, again, it, it was mainly that that kind of caused the overall general year to, of 2021 for my channel to be a bit lower in terms of just my overall content. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of figuring out where to fucking go from here. Uh, okay, now time to, to shift back to the positive side of things. Um, and again, this is kind of just me, kind of, I'm just going to be honest, it's going to be kind of me sucking my own dick. I'm just going to completely admit it there. But this is fully the year where I completely shifted away from the anti-SJW, uh, conservative type freaking landscape or just overall general sphere of... YouTube, because again, I'm, I'm sorry I always talk about fucking anti-SGWs and conservatives whenever I talk about politics on my channel, it's just, I, I really don't fucking like these people, well, mostly, I know there's some anti-SGWs in my audience and that's fine, I just don't really, th like, I think most of them are pretty, pretty fucking nutty, I'm just gonna be honest and say that, okay, I, I don't know why I had to say, I've gotta be honest, because I mean, it's completely clear that I'm being fucking honest right now, or I'm just completely stating my opinion. I mean, it's not like I'll lie all the fucking time, but, uh, okay, I'm kind of getting off track, but, um, yeah, I think what the, the thing that happened this year in general that caused me to just completely, like, get sucked out of the freaking right side of the political sphere, like, the anti SJW stuff was, it was what happened on January 6th, and I don't even need to fucking say what it was, you guys 
know who it is unless you're one of those people that fucking Dallas plays it and it's like, boo boo, but Antifa and BLM, uh, they, they burn down buildings and it's clearly worse than fucking insurrections. But again, I just, again, like that was really what caused me to get sucked out of the, that fucking side of, well, not only just YouTube, but just that side of people in general. Because I was already starting to shift more towards the opposite side after the fucking election and all the election fraud claims, which I made, which I stupidly made that video claiming that there was election fraud. And again, I don't know why I didn't, I haven't fucking taken it down yet. But it, it, at some point, it will be taken down. Just again, it, it like that doesn't represent how I feel about the the election at all nowadays. But um. Yeah, and, okay, I, I thought I was trying to just ramble at this point, but the way I'd overall put it is, while 2021 definitely had, does have a lot more positives in general, just completely ignoring my personal life, when it comes to just life, because, I mean, we, we, we finally got the COVID vaccines out, and that's nice, and I finally actually fucking decided to get them a couple months ago, but when it comes to my overall general uh, time on YouTube, I made a fuck ton of bad decisions in the middle and kind of late, in the early, mid, and kind of late sides or months of the year, and yeah, while I am trying to shift away, and I think I've done a pretty decent job at shifting away from the shit that plagued my channel, I, it, it's still, it's still going to be a bit of a hard time to completely uh, get over the whole fucking drama stuff. Well, I mean, again, I'm I'm doing my best, and I think I've done a decent job, but I, I gotta find some way to, like, completely move past it. And also, regarding the whole YouTube subscribers thing, uh, one thing that I am kind of getting, I well, I, I don't want to quite say salty, but, I mean, we're, we're, like, literally only five subscribers away from hitting 500, and it's taking, like, fucking... There's, like, fucking weeks where my channel will just be really stagnant and usually just goes down. But, uh, okay, again, I'm pretty much fucking rambling at this point. Uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video, and I uh, hope you guys had a decent 2021 at least.